I'm Denise Smith and I'm the program manager with Rise Vermont. I want to welcome you to the Rise Vermont TV show. In partnership with Northwest Access TV, we're going to be providing weekly insight, inspiring ideas, and stories about how to live healthier, happier lifestyles in Northwest Vermont in the counties of Franklin and Grand Isle counties. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to this month's episode of our Rise Vermont monthly update, where we'll be highlighting events that happened in February and looking ahead to some of the exciting things that we have planned for March. So first of all, the new Rise statewide team has been onboarded. We are so happy and excited to add the executive director, Marissa Parisi, and program manager, Amelia Wollenberg, who are now working with Elizabeth Fontaine, the statewide and the local Rise Vermont medical director on the statewide scale up of RISE Vermont. Their focus is going to be on bringing the RISE Vermont model to other communities throughout Vermont. So we're really excited about having them join our team. February was a whirlwind of trainings and hosting teams from our international partners, um, EPODE and YOG. So EPODE is basically an acronym that translates into Together We Prevent Childhood Obesity and the Netherlands program called YAG, which is uh, basically translated into children at a healthy weight. Um, they visited us for a week and our teams participated in workshops and trainings about creating alignment with the EPODE pillars. We also learned about the YAG structure um, and successes that they've had with primary prevention efforts in the communities of the Netherlands. So very uh, busy February, so glad that they were able to travel here and uh, join RISE Vermont in the field. Um, so we have been on the news, yay! We're so pleased to hear that Governor Scott endorsed RISE Vermont as a primary prevention priority for the state um, in his budget address. Understanding that RISE Vermont is about community-based prevention and he stated, Rise Vermont is outcome focused, evidence based, and it's working. That's because Vermonters are involved in their own health. It's tailored to make, meet each community's prevention needs. We also drew more attention at the Healthy Hearts on the Move event on February 10th at our Active Play pop up event when Governor Scott signed our Active Play proclamation. And booty scooted with our CEO, Jill Barry Bowen, and our local representative, Corey Parent. So there'll be more booty scooting coming up in March. We'll tell you more about that in a minute. Our winter show up calendar has been incredible grouping of fun activities throughout the community that has led to community building and engagement. Our recently held skating show up on, uh, in Highgate drew 50, 75 participants um, and praise from the rink host um, for bringing in new people that had never attended. In the 100 Acre Woods show up in Fairfax, we brought in 40 people from many abilities and ages, and it was incredible. Mike Kane, the steward of those woods, declared, I think there are more people here today than there, than there has been in the last five years. So very exciting. Our show up events are just blowing up. We're trying to make them more community based and things that people can do together um, outside in our wonderful environment. From a local team's updates perspective, Jessica Frost is coordinating a yoga for classrooms training on Saturday, March 24th at the St. Albans Town Education Center. Yoga for classrooms is an evidence-based yoga and mindfulness program for schools that promote social, emotional, and physical um, wellness, learning readiness, and positive school climate. By providing training and resources to support sustainable school-wide implementation, the training empowers schools to meet improvement goals while preparing students for a life, lifetime of success. So this is for teachers as well as administrators, and it's gonna be at the St. Albans Town Education Center on March 24th, it's a Saturday. Um, it's from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're asking people to register. We already have, I think, 50 or 60 people registered. Um, so the deadline for registration is March 9th. So we hope you can join us um, if you're an educator in our community. Betsy Fournier, Fournier is replicating the small business umbrella model in Swanton. Um, so we're really excited about that. She's taking the model that we've used here in St. Albans and doing similar work in Swanton. She held her first meeting on February 15th. So the purpose of this meeting is to support businesses by bringing them together 
um, the small businesses, so 50 or less employees, um, to act as the wellness community committee. It's a it's a quarterly meeting that we try to organize. Um, the sc the small group um, meets together to support to support each other with their wellness goals. Um, it was a need that we found identified in St. Albans, and now it's being brought out across the county with our different uh, wellness specialists. So Moretti, our embedded school wellness specialist, is in Folsom. Um, and something very exciting that's been happening there is um, the wellness committee um, and reworking, re redeveloping and developing their, um, their wellness policy. Um, the, the next step there is to present the revised wellness policy in collaboration with the Vermont Department of Health to parents. Um, so it's a very exciting thing. It's starting kind of from a grassroots group of teachers um, and people within the community of Folsom, South Hero, um, to create a more robust wellness policy for their school community. Brian, our local Rise Run health coach, has started working or is continuing to work with businesses and organizations in our region on rolling out health coaching offerings. He has seen positive results uh, with the people he has worked with and has recently added the St. Albans Historical Society to his list. So we're really excited to be working with that team of people, um, the, the volunteers, as well as um, uh, a few of the staff people there. He's actively seeking new businesses to partner with um, and bring his health coaching model to. Brian can be reached if your business is interested in learning more about our health coaching model, B Klukey, C L U K E Y, at nmcinc.org. Our next big exciting piece of news is that our mini grants will be available. Um, for Northwest Vermont, Franklin, and Grand Isle counties. This is a partnership with Northwestern Medical Center. Um, we are so excited to support a variety of 2018 mini grant projects throughout Franklin and Grand Isle counties um, to our community partners, um, to our municipalities, um, to businesses, uh, to schools. Our mini grant funds range anywhere between $250 and $5,000. We sort of look at the, this as a financial spark um, to help grow whatever, uh, whatever program or project you're interested in. Um, so we encourage uh, organizations to apply for only what's needed though for the specific project. Our preference is gonna be given to projects that create the greatest community impact, have a sustainability plan, and allow for active play opportunities. For children, for adults, any kind of active play, play does not just have to be for kids, it could be for adults as well. Applications for grant funding are now open. The deadline for submission is April 19th. Um, we're trying to get these out a little bit earlier this year. So you can access the application on our website, www.risevt.org. <clears throat> so in other really exciting news, our team has come together and we're partnering uh, with Northwestern Orthopedic and Rehabilitation Center to offer a community-based Couch to 5K training program. We're calling it the Rise to 5K, pretty creative. Um, we are excited uh, to get people ready uh, for some great local spring races. So there's gonna be teams meeting on Wednesday eight, for eight weeks um, in different communities. We also have an online training schedule to follow if you're unable to make um, any of the trainings. We're creating an online Facebook group to share resources, connect with each other, and share inspiration. The in-person trainings are gonna be led by certified physical therapists. They're going to take place, I'm gonna give you these uh, locations, at Georgia at the Jimmy Center, which is across the road from the Georgia Plains Baptist Church. The physical therapist there is Sue Dodge. At St. Albans, it's gonna be at the Collins Pearly Sports Complex, and the idea is that we would meet at the football bleachers, and the two physical therapists that we'll be working with there are Catherine Lowe and Natalie Shea. And then the Enosburg, um, the Enosburg Physical Therapy Office uh, run by Northwestern Medical Center, um, the Melissa Kielty is going to be the physical therapist there. We are limiting, um, just because of safety reasons, the actual locations, there will be a sign up. Um, we're limiting each location to 20 people. Um, however, 
You can follow our online training program on our Facebook page, and we'll have videos, thanks to Northwestern Access Television, as well as Brian Klukey, we'll have videos of each of the um, training sessions that the physical therapists are, are leading on those Wednesdays. So just um, also so you know, we have a few show up events left in March. Um, you can check out our schedule on our website or follow us online. Um, a couple of really exciting ones that are coming up um, is on Tuesday, March 13th. We're going to have Open Family Swim at Brandon's Pools in St. Albans. Um, it's the first time we've done that, similar to our show up event on the ice skating rink. Uh, Thursday, March 15th, we are doing the Labyrinth at the Swanton Municipal Complex. Very excited about that one. That one gets a lot of draw. Um, and then on March 20th, we're doing vinyasa yoga at the Montgomery Center for the Arts. And on March 21st, we're also doing another yoga that's going to be held at Duke's Fitness Center. Um, so just a quick reminder, we'll be taking April off from show up events. So we're not doing any show ups in the month of April. And we'll be launching our summer calendar in May. So May, June, and July, we'll have three more months of show up and pop up events for you and your families or friends. And then quickly, a couple of upcoming events, just some reminders here. March 24th is the Yoga for Classrooms training, which will be held at the St. Albans Town Education Center, 8.30 to 3. On March 16th to the 18th is the Rotary Home Show and Expo. They're going to be having um, silent auction again this year uh, with all the sports prizes from different organizations. And we are going to be there. Rise Vermont is doing our active play family pop-up event. Um, March 16th and 17th. March 16th is in the evening from 5 to 7, and we'll be there on the 17th from 10 to noon. So hopefully you can find us. We'll be in the racquetball courts. On Friday, March 16th from 5 to 7 in the racquetball courts. Um, March 29th is the Career Expo, which is also held at the Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center. It's a great way for young professionals and other organizations to connect and collaborate. Um, also, a great place to find a job if you're looking. Rise Vermont will be leading a stretching break and connecting with the businesses that are attending during that, during that uh, business expo. So thanks again. Hope you have a great month, and we'll look forward to seeing you in April.